adults have all the answers because we've been there, right? I had to explain to my own dad, like, sometimes I don't want answers. I just want you to listen so I know that I've got it out and I know I know that you hurt me. Sometimes people just need to be hurt. This is where these teens can be hurt. Because like you said, it, it, it sometimes feels like we're, we're drowned out by other things that are going on. And that's real. This class is called restorative justice. You won't find another like it in the metro. Restorative justice, it helps you learn what you did, resolve what you did, and learn how to help others resolve the same conflict if you run into somebody else that did that. You can't really achieve nothing unless you like, work together. I was in anger management before this. The class is broken down into three tiers, community building in classrooms, conferences and mediations to reassimilate students and re-entry circles after removal from school. We call them alternative <laughs> leadership. Half of them have been through our process last year, this year, meaning they have found themselves in conflict. The students in this program were at one time serving in school or out of school suspension. Some of them were in a conflict that led to criminal charges. Lauren Anderson is a senior in the program who's gone from admitted troublemaker. We're in a position to speak on what we want to stopping trouble before it starts with her peers. One thing she's learned is the importance of empathy. Feeling the healing process. But once you learn empathy, you can't unlearn it. Reginald Berry and Sarah Eblen are the instructors for the restorative justice program. With one third of all homicide suspects or victims being the same age as these teens, they say conflict resolution is more important than ever before. Because we could give this program to someone who already has these skills, who was taught at home or was taught at some point in their lives, but you know, what real change would that make? The most common way people give their power is by thinking they don't have any. And it's easy to think you don't have any when adults have all the answers. But as Lauren points out, sometimes a lot of listening and a little bit of empathy can go a very long way. And less conflict will lead to less suspensions. Less suspensions lead to higher attendance. Higher attendance leads to more learning. More learning leads to higher test scores. Higher test scores lead to more funding for the school.